guys, it's Brian. I'm going to show you where all the maps are located in Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Now, the only maps you need to find for the Lost Trophy are the ones that say you are here on them. Now, the first one is in the observatory area, and there's 31 total. But here's the first one. You can see it has a little marker that says you are here on the bottom. Now, the second one is going to be in Yawton. There's actually uh, four maps in this area. So the first one is going to be after the phone booth and you're going to come up to this bus stop and inside the bus stop there to, on the right side is the map. Now the next one is going to be in the park area. The park that's where the uh, witch's hat ride is at. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look at that. It's got some infinity symbols in there. And uh, the next one is going to be over by the auto repair garage area. So what you want to do is go to the side of this building beyond the blue van and it's going to be right on the side of this wall. Now the next one is going to be in the community center area. Now at various points throughout this video, I'm going to kind of speed up the video just so uh, we don't have to uh, slowly uh, walk to the objective. What you want to do is go to this area and you'll see the map here on the side of the building. Now, if you go inside this building, uh, doors to the right, uh, there is one of the microwaves are in there. Now the next, uh, let's see, we got six in the Tipworth 4. So the next one is going to be once you enter it from the main road, uh, a lot of the directions are going to be from the main road, so we're just kind of making our way around. But from the main road, you'll run right into it, and then you'll see the house right in front of us that has the tree house uh, in front. Uh, what you want to do to get to the seventh one is go behind that house, and then behind this house is going to be a pathway back here, and then just to the left, you'll see it right here. You got the uh, picnic uh, blanket down there on the ground. Now head back out to the main road and uh, we're going to head up to a bus stop here on the right and then there's going to be a split in the path here. The gorge is uh, to the left so if you follow this path up to the left and then you're going to run right into the map kind of overlooking the uh, the water here. So go ahead and interact with that and now we're going to go back to the main road again. To the left is where the trains are at. Now you saw the van, the white van that was on the left uh, just continue forward and right before this bridge there's going to be a entrance way into the pond area so we're going to go and turn right into the pond and then we're just going to follow this fence around and where these blue flowers are at you can jump over this little piece of uh, fence and then just kind of go straight back here and we should run into another map a very scenic view there but we're going to leave this view and go just to the left and then we're going to go straight this way and you see the orange car just out in the distance here. Uh, there's going to be a map on the board right next to it. So once you get to the car here just turn around and you'll see the map. And then the next one is going to be very close by as well so if we turn around and then we go up the stairs leading to where the trains are at. Uh, there's two set of stairs leading up to the train uh, platforms. Uh, we're going up the second one here. You can go up the first one if you'd like. If you go up the first one, you have to turn right. But if you go up this set of stairs, uh, turn to the left, and you'll see uh, some stairs going up into this office building. And inside of this office building is where the map is located. Now, I don't know how close you have to be to the map to, for it to count, but just do yourself a favor and get close to it. You don't want to miss one because you are six feet away instead of five feet away. All right, next one's going to be in Appleton's Farm. Now, there's going to be five maps here. So once you leave the forest area, you're going to enter the farm area. And immediately upon entering it, there's a path here to the left. So go up this dirt path. And right up top, overlooking here, is going to be another map. So we're going to return to the main road, keep following it around. And uh, you'll come up to this white house. Now we're going to go take the passageway here to the right of the house and just go all the way back and just keep going around. I'm going to keep going. You see the waterfall off to the right. And here is where the next uh, map is located in the farm area. So now we head back to the main road and we're going to continue following it around. Now you got the wheat field off to the right there. We'll go in there momentarily. Uh, but first we're going to go in through here across this uh, large uh, patch of grass here and then we're gonna go and jump over this uh, fence here you can see the white marker the next white marker up above is actually one of the secret passageways but right up here is going to be the map 
Now there's going to be another map uh, once we get back to the main road uh, to the left as you're exiting the farm area. Uh, you see the windmill that was off in the distance. We will actually be going there next. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Again, only the ones that say you are here count for this uh, trophy. There are a lot of maps in the game uh, in various houses that don't have the you are here marker on it. Only the ones with the you are here marker count. So we're going to go back into the, uh, the wheat field here. And uh, you see that van there to the left. There's one of the chads are located on it. And we're just going to follow this path, uh, path here. And there's going to be another fence jump here. This is going to lead to the, uh, the windmill itself. And then from the windmill, there's actually going to be uh, another passageway out on the opposite side of it that'll take you to the Lakeside Holiday Camp, which is where we will be going next. But first, we got to go find this map, and it's going to be up by the, uh, the base of the windmill on the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead to the Lakeside Holiday Camp, and again, I, there's a path that leads down there from that, that windmill. And then as soon as you enter it, you're going to see the map here just to the left. Uh, the maps in the lakeside uh, camp area are different than the other ones. But they have the you are here mark on there, so you need to find them. And there's going to be uh, nine of them in this area. And the second one is going to be by the main hall, just outside it. Now I'm going to take a uh, kind of go clockwise. So I went left, and we're going to go clockwise around this entire area. Find the next map at the uh, fence of the tennis court here get back to the main road and we're just going to continue following this around and right before the phone booth here you see to the right and now we're going to pass uh, pass that uh, phone booth and then you're going to come to a split in the road we're going to take the bottom path here and then you see this building just to my right you're going to find the map on the uh, side of that that's a, a, a bathroom and then from here I'm going to just go jump over the fence over here you can go back to the main road if you like and then just turn left to get over here but I'm just taking a little shortcut and then we're gonna follow this all the way around and you'll see it right on the right side of the road so once again following the main path around you're gonna come to this area with the the caravans here and we're going to turn left and then we're going to take this all the way down here and there's going to be a gate open that we can go through that takes us down to the water and then you'll find it sitting right here and now we're going to backtrack and go back to the main road uh, but instead of turning left and following the road down we're going to go straight across and there's another uh, set of bathrooms here and on the side of that building is the map and then we're going to continue down the road uh, the very next thing that you come to is the pool and then you'll see it sitting just on the left. Now that is uh, it for the uh, lakeside camp area. So we're going to go to Little Tipworth, which is the northern section of the, uh, of the map. Now at the very beginning, you're going to pass the phone booth and then this blue van. And just to the left on the road is going to be the uh, first of six maps in Little Tipworth. Now, next one, if you just continue the path, is going to be in the bus stop. So just go ahead, pass four leaves here on the right, and then come into the bus stop here. Take a look at that map, and then get back on the road and just past the uh, the bar that you see there on the right, and there was a phone booth to the left. Is going to be another map. Now, next one is going to be if you follow the uh, the road. Uh, there's a split in the road, a path here that goes to the right, and then there's going to be the train station. If you cross the train tracks and go to the uh, the building, you'll see it right on the side. So we're going to look at that and then go right back to the main road once again, and then we're going to follow it down towards the, uh, the little store over here. You got the gas station, and then you want to go into Holly's Cafe, and the map is right inside the door to the right. And then the very last map in the game is going to be nearby. We're going to exit Holly's here, and then we're going to go to the left. And then what you need to do is just follow this to the left here. Swing around, and you will eventually find the 31st and final You Are Here map. And you will earn the Lost Trophy, assuming you found all 31 of them. And I want to thank you guys for watching, so please like, comment, and subscribe.